Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with the Horse Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news. I actually have news. Hooray! Yay. It's not just going to be picking a topic and talking about it. It's an actual news. So, Sean Levy, we know he's going to be directing a Star Wars movie or something down the line. Allegedly. Allegedly. I always put that around anybody who's been announced because yeah. it actually has to happen. Well, right now, he's doing press rounds for his upcoming Netflix miniseries, A Light We Cannot See. It's a World War II drama. It's coming out November 2nd. We know him more from being a Deadpool, the Deadpool 3 director. Well, World War II documentary type film, Deadpool 3. I don't see any difference. Same thing, right? Exactly. Same thing. But Variety actually got to talk to him. They asked him first about a quote from Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo worked with Levy on both The Atom Project and now this new documentary. But last year... When he defended Marvel projects against Star Wars, he had said, if you watch a Star Wars, you're pretty much going to get the same version of Star Wars each time. It might have a little bit of humor, but with Marvel, you can have a whole different feeling even within the Marvel Universe. You want me to comment on that? If you want to. Um, he's not entirely wrong. He is not entirely wrong. No. There's genres within Marvel. Yes, which I've said before, I think, is part of the secret to their success, is that mm -hmm. they don't just kind of... I mean, yes, they do the same film over and over again, but they disguise it with different genres. They, yes. You have the heist films, you have the straight-up Captain America, the, the soldier... Yeah, the political kind of intrigue that was yeah. the sequel to yeah, Captain Yeah, Winter America. Soldier, mm -hmm. sure. And then you have something like Thor, which brings in kind of some fantasy elements, or kind of used to. The space opera of Guardians of the Galaxy. Exactly. So you, you do have the kind of the different subgenres, yes. which Star Wars really doesn't tend to do, other than with, say, an Andor. Right. Which was more of a political thriller, in a way. Well, Sean Levy replied to this quote by sharing his first encounter with Kathleen Kennedy. He said, When Kathy Kennedy brought me on board to make a Star Wars movie, her central mandate to me was... I want a Sean Levy movie. I want a story and a tone that reflects you and your taste and what you bring to your movies with a Star Wars story. So I have felt extremely empowered. We're in the early days, unfortunately because the development process was abruptly paused due to the strike, but I feel very empowered to trust my instincts in the development of this story and movie. Um, I think I just want a Star Wars movie. I don't want, like, somebody's personal flair to overtake it so much that it feels... I mean, I know that kind of sounds hypocritical in a way. Like, I'm just saying, like, oh, all Star Wars movies kind of feel the same. But I don't, like, hate that, though. But she's saying, in a sense, that she does want a Star Wars story, but she wants the tone and everything to reflect what they bring. And that's what Tony Gilroy did. He took a Star Wars story... And he gave it his tones. He's known for the Bourne movies. He's known, you know, for that spy intrigue, political stuff. And that's what he brought to his Star Wars series. So I feel like she's asking for the same thing out of Sean Levy. Yeah, but not everybody's tone is something I want to see in Star Wars. Like, Tony Gilroy is one thing. Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi is another. Well, I actually, you know, I liked Taika Waititi before the last Thor movie. I thought he was great before then. But now I'm worried he might be a little too goofy. It really depends on the story they're going to have him tell. Kathleen Kennedy and all of Lucasfilm really have been criticized in the past for prioritizing choosing a good director over a good story, and then the right director for that. I mean, she's also been criticized for turning Lucasfilm into kind of like a revolving door of directors. Well, yeah, that's what we joke about all the time. Yeah. That's but... why I was joking at the start about, well, I'll believe <laughs> it when I actually see the movie someday, I know. maybe. But Sean Levy has said he very much intends to make that film, and he stands by that sentiment. When he like followed up in the interview, he said, The experience that I'm currently having with Marvel on Deadpool is showing me firsthand that it is indeed really possible to feel empowered and personal about making a movie within a universe that is bigger than any one film. My Deadpool movie is turning out to be exactly what Ryan Reynolds and I hoped when we started off. So I'm going into the development of my Star Wars movie with a similar optimism and faith that my instincts will be allowed to lead the way. I mean, it's a tough one here. I don't think you want people to get too creative with Star Wars, where it just well, doesn't Well, that's the problem feel... we had with Ryan Johnson, is you felt he was trying to tell his own story yeah. within Star Wars, but the story he came out with, the way it was... T like, it was beautiful to watch. It wasn't... Yeah. Cinematically, it was a beautiful movie. I won't well, take that I mean, away from it, but... Sure. I mean, you might be going a bit far, but sure. It was, a, it was pretty to watch. If but... you turn the sound off, yeah, and <laughs> edit out a lot of the Luke scenes. Oh, Yeah. But it was it was more of a Ryan Johnson movie than a Star Wars story. 
Well, I've said before, there's two different approaches, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, you can either try to do something for Star Wars or with Star Wars for yourself. And I feel like Ryan Johnson wanted to do something for himself with Star Wars. Right. And then you have, at the far opposite extreme, I think you almost have a J.J. Abrams who just kind of just wanted to make Star Wars to Star Wars. Okay. And so you, you need to find a middle ground, I think. Dave Filoni kind of does this middle ground well, where he tells a Star Wars story, and he tells it in a Star Wars fashion. I think he grasps Star Wars better than most people. I think he gets the fundamentals and understands it, but I don't know that it necessarily always pays off to the fullest. I think Dave is a a decent writer. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he's, like, top-notch, which, you know, I love the guy. I'm a big fan of his, but some of his work is not the best. But anyway, I, I do feel like you need to find somebody who can kind of approach that middle. Someone who wants to do something for Star Wars. They want to tell a story in this universe. They want to expand the universe. They want to explore it in an interesting way. Not just kind of use it as a, a stepping stone or to preach something. Well, that's what I'm hoping we're going to get out of Sean Levy. Because he says he feels optimistic. And he, he said he wants to do this. This is something that he wants to do. Well, that's another thing I've always said. Like, I'm, I'm so sick of these, we, we hire a director or a writer, and they're like, I got five other projects lined up, but I'll probably be able to get to Star Wars in the next couple of years. Well, Star Wars, I believe, is supposed to be Levy's literal, like, next thing okay. that he's going to start working on. And it's kind of interesting because they did ask him a, another little question, you know, Variety did. They asked Levy about his personal relationship with Adam Driver, because those two are, are actually friends. And if he's planning a prequel film to The Force Awakens focused on Driver's Kylo Ren. I'm going to assume Adam Driver wants nothing to do with Star Wars and (laughs) flat out said no. Levy said, your words, not mine. As you know, Adam is a buddy and I've always been a huge fan of Kylo Ren, but no comment. Yeah, it's not. He's just kidding around. He can't, well, you know, he can't commit to anything. Well, sure, you don't want to, I guess, shut the door on it, but I highly, highly doubt we'll be seeing uh, Kylo Ren played by Adam Driver ever again. Sean Levy's at a good point in his career, though. He di- He's directed eight episodes so far of Stranger Things. I think he did the last season, yeah. which was tremendously successful. Yeah, I, it's not that I, I have anything against him. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I, I'm very picky. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm very picky when it comes to Star Wars. I think you need to have the right approach, and mm-hmm. sometimes people just don't have it. I'm interested because Sean Levy's style is all over the board. You know, he doesn't, he's, yes, he's working on Deadpool, but he's also done Stranger Things. He did Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds. He also did The Atom Project with Ryan Reynolds. And now he's doing a World War II documentary. It's going to be very emotional because that's that's what World War, War, yeah, war documentaries is, are. War is hell, yeah. So it, it's interesting that he, he does like to have projects with an emotional core. Whether they're frightening, scared emotions like Stranger Things, there's still that heart in there. And that's what he specializes on. I mean, Free Guy... I was surprised by how that I enjoyed that movie because at yeah, first sorry, I thought yeah. it was going to be kind of, yeah, video game AI. Yeah, but there was idea. there was actually like a solid core to it. So if he can bring those values into a Star Wars movie done his way, I'm I'm interested to see where that goes. I'm certainly interested. I'm I'm interested to see another Star Wars movie in general after all this time. <laughs> it's it's been forever. Feels like it, doesn't it? feels it? like as soon as the first one comes out, they'll be cranking again for some reason. I, I think they will be. I think they want to try to get this hammered out this time, and just uh, one a year is what their goal is eventually. I mean, I think that's what their goal was initially, mm-hmm. and then some hiccups, shall we say. Hmm, that's a nice but way once, of putting it. Yeah, but once they get going, I, I fully anticipate the, the factory to be uh, in full operation, just cranking them out. Hopefully, hopefully good movies, but who knows. All right, well, I guess that's going to be all we got for you this time. So now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell us what you think about this one. Are you excited to see Sean Levy do a Star Wars movie? And how do you feel it should work? Do you think people need to try to make Star Wars right? Or do you think they need to bring their own style and have Star Wars kind of fit around it? Whatever the case may be, leave those comments below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.